as we mentioned earlier in the hour, today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And as the number of survivors dwindles each year, sharing their firsthand accounts is more important than ever. Seven's Karen Hensel has one South Florida man story in our Seven Spotlight. A3913. The numbers on his arm are faded, but this 92 year old's memory remains vivid. I was next day marched off to Auschwitz to the, to the main camp and I was tattooed. Zoltan Saul Blau, who goes by Saul, is describing the serial number etched on his body at the Nazis infamous Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland. Saul was just 13 years old when his family was in prison there in 1944. They marched us to the railroads station to the cattle cars. 1995 people to a cattle car, a bucket of water, a bucket for waste, old people, young people, babies, horrible, horrible conditions. They opened those sliding doors. I still remember the sound of that sliding door click. Saul was immediately separated from his family. He would never see his parents or younger sister again. They went into a shower, they still have water, Cyclone B gas came, and they were choked to death, and they were burned in the crematoriums. And that barrack commander, he took us outside, and he was pointing to the chimney. And the chimney was in full blaze, and he told us that you don't have any parents anymore. They were eliminated within two and a half hours from the time that they arrived. It was terrifying. The only thing you wanted to do is try to survive. Saul Blau did survive. He was sent to work with other boys at a coal mining factory before being liberated by U.S. Armed Forces in 1945. Nearly 78 years later, he now shares his story with a new generation, volunteering here at the Holocaust Memorial in Miami Beach. And I'm glad that I still remember and I'm in a condition that I could relay, especially to young people who are uh, hopefully learning something, not just about TikTok and Instagram. But while he talks about the past, Saul says he is very concerned about the present. From those who deny the horrors of the Holocaust. So to anybody that wants to deny that, how are you going to convince them? I smell the fire and I, and I, and I, and I smelled the air and I saw the flames. To the rise in anti-Semitism. The social media has such a big part in it. The Anti-Defamation League, which tracks anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S., shows the trend over the last decade. The number reached an all-time high in 2021. It's terrible that 80 years since the Holocaust, that I would have never imagined that in my lifetime, these anti-Semitic incidents would happen in the United States. As for how to turn the tide on rising Jewish hate? When it comes to philosophical things, how to solve the world problems, whether it's anti-Semitism, I have no... <laughs> a lot of people would love to have working on that. This is the record of Auschwitz. Auschwitz, where more than a million people were exterminated by the Nazis. Of Saul's five family members who were taken there, two survived, Saul and his older sister Shirley, who is now 95 years old. The reminder, not just on this day, but every day, is to never forget. Read history, learn what happens in the world, because without that, there's how much more can you explain with Holocaust education? Karen Hensel, 7 News.